Sun Aperture Science wants you. <laughs> we will send you to space. You might not come back, but we'll send you. <laughs> Listen, this is how it's going to be. I'm kind of confused right now because we're talking about a lot of sciencey topics right here, and we're not about big science. We're just about pushing and selling. If you want to go to space, you got to smoke a lot of cigarettes. We got a point program right now. You buy 15 cigarette packs, and you go to space. Thank you. <laughs> space doesn't exist. <laughs> Thank you. Um, guys, let's go right over here. Hi, I heard that if life sends you lemons, the normal thing is to make lemonade. What's your opinion on it? Lemonade out of lemons? Pardon me, Mr. Johnson. Pardon me, I am deathly ill. Uh, no. The correct procedure is not to take life's lemons and make lemonade. You demand to see life's manager! Make life rue the day that it gave you lemons. Rue the day. As Gabe Johnson can attest to, to his multiple years of smoking. <laughs> lemonade is not your answer. Lemonade is for the birds. You're going to want to have tea. You're going to take some of the tobacco leaves. You're going to mix it in your tea. You're going to use your cigarette as a straw. <laughs> Interesting. A science experiment person. If life gives you lemons, make sure they're not from Aperture Science, because chances are they're going to explode in front of you. <laughs> well yeah. said. Uh, yes, sir. Right back here. What credit card does our Red Paris not take? Oh. oh. What credit card does he not take? <laughs> our Paris prefers a check. Our <laughs> Paris only wants both bowls of cigarettes from Cuba. <laughs> We won't take a credit card from Cave Johnson because Aperture Science is bankrupt. <laughs> yes, ma'am, right back here. Yes. <clears throat> we're gonna wax instead of dinosaur bones in uh, South Africa? Yeah. <clears throat> giant ball of ear wax is in no way connected with the giant ear experiments that Aperture Science may or may not be conducting. <laughs> Those are just for spying on the comics. That's all they're for. <laughs> Giant ball of earwax, let me tell you something. Those were cigarettes. Dinosaurs smoked cigarettes back in 65 million years ago. <laughs> all you're seeing now is a big lump of cigarette chew that was put in the ground by the dinosaurs and then they all died. Not by smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Experiment by 21. I hate the feel of earwax. I'm in that giant ear for so long. <laughs> I just had to dump it somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. The most obvious. We, uh, we have time for one more question, I think, right over here. Yeah? I've recently lost my voice. How do I get it back? How did you get her voice back? <coughs> <coughs> well, my advice would be to send your lovely assistant out for some pills, or, um, failing that, put yourself into a computer where your voice can be synthesized and preserved yeah. for all time. <laughs> I don't know what this lady's talking about. My dear, if you have a sore throat, please, please, smoke menthol cigarettes. They have a nice, soothing aftertaste. Whatever you do, do not put yourself in a computer. It'll try to kill me! Blackout.